while there's been much speculation about a Tesla solid state battery, Tesla's recent moves have been pointing towards a separate battery revolution, which is to further innovate on the existing lithium ion battery. On May 4th, Tesla's battery research partner, Jeff Don, released a new battery breakthrough that hasn't been done before, an all electric hybrid battery. In this video, I'm going to explain what the hybrid battery is and why I believe the technology is groundbreaking. Jeff Don's release of the hybrid battery is a revolutionary breakthrough in the range extender sector. Typically, an electric vehicle with a range extender refers to an electric car that has a tiny internal combustion engine recharging the battery. For example, the BMW i3 Rex, an EV with a range extender, has a battery pack allowing the vehicle to drive 126 miles on one charge. However, using its internal combustion engine, the vehicle can recharge the battery to a total range of 200 miles. This all seems pretty pointless because of the fact that it involves gasoline in what should be an electric vehicle. As a result, Jeff Don and his team have revealed an all-electric version of this range extender, which is a hybrid lithium ion and lithium metal battery cell. In order to understand how the hybrid battery works, we need to go over how a lithium ion battery works. If you already know how a lithium ion battery works, go to the timestamp on the screen. There are three key components of the battery, the anode, cathode, and electrolyte. Depending on the situation, the anode is the positive side and the cathode is the negative side, and vice versa. The anode and cathode transfer energy through the movement of ions, which the electrolyte catalyzes. The ultimate goal of the hybrid battery is to increase the energy density of Tesla's batteries, which allow for longer driving ranges. Conventionally, batteries use graphite as the anode. However, if that graphite was replaced with lithium metal, this would increase the energy density and as a result, increase the driving range. Nonetheless, there is one major downside to lithium metal, a far shorter battery cell lifetime. This is due to the fact that lithium metal loses the majority of its capacity incredibly fast. In order to solve this issue, Jeff Don has proposed a hybrid lithium ion and lithium metal cell. This strategy adds a lithium metal plate to the graphite anode. However, Don isn't the first person who's done this. Many researchers have tried this before and normally adding a lithium metal plate to the graphite anode still degrades the battery. Now this is where Don's team makes a revolutionary change. By using an optimized dual salt electrolyte, Don's team was able to reverse the lithium plating on the graphite, consequently allowing for a controllable multi-mode between the typical lithium ion mode and the lithium metal plated mode. This hybrid anode allows for a 20% increase in energy density compared to the conventional lithium ion battery. All of this sounds fantastic, but many of you are probably wondering, how do these battery specs affect the electric vehicle performance? In Jeff Don's research report, he described how if an electric vehicle with a conventional lithium ion battery can deliver a range of 400 kilometers, then hybrid cells could enable a range of 480 kilometers. In miles, this would mean that a vehicle with a 248 mile range would be able to go 298 miles on one charge if the vehicle was using the lithium metal mode on Don's hybrid battery. However, although this is great, the downside to this is that operating a hybrid cell in the lithium ion mode delivers an energy density of 530 watt hours per liter, about 25% less than a conventional lithium ion cell. This would result in a range of 300 kilometers. Essentially, what this means is that the vehicle has two modes, the lithium metal mode and the lithium ion mode. When the vehicle is on the lithium ion mode, the vehicle would have a 300 kilometer range rather than the typical 400 km range. The reason why Don believes this is groundbreaking is because in a study of driving behaviors for EVs, the study showed that only 1% of daily trips are longer than 325 km on average. Therefore, operating hybrid cells most of the time in the lithium ion mode, enabling a range of 300 km while periodically using the lithium metal portion for long, 
greater than 400 km trips, as mimicked by this testing protocol, should be viable for most drivers. As of right now, many Tesla users drive around with a large battery pack that they only utilize every few months. Dawn's new battery would help minimize the range for these short commutes while maximizing the range for the occasional long trips. In fact, let's actually apply this to a real-life scenario with the Model 3 long-range version. The long-range Model 3 currently has the capacity to drive 322 miles on one charge. If the hybrid battery was used in this vehicle, then it would be capable of having a 386 mile range and a 242 mile range on the lithium ion mode. In my opinion, this would be an extremely helpful feature. Let me know what you think about Tesla's new hybrid battery in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so that I know you guys want to see more videos like this. Also, please consider supporting me on Patreon in the description below. I appreciate your support.